Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be learning about two mathematical mind reading tricks. So by mind reading tricks, I mean you can use these and surprise people. But they are nothing magical, but just a play of few numbers. So in the first one, in the first trick, I'll tell you to pick any number between 1 to 10. So you need to pick any whole number between 1 to 10. And now, before doing anything, I'll just let you know that after a few calculations, which I'll be telling you to do, your final answer will be 6. Now you can see that I have read your mind that, you, that no matter any number you take and after following the steps I'll tell you, your answer will be 6. So let me take an example. If I take my number as 3 and I tell you to add 3 to the number, so when I add 3 to the number, it will give me 6. Then I'll tell you to multiply it by 5, which will give me 30. Then I'll add 15 to it, which will give me 45. Then I'll divide the number by 5, which will give me 9. And then the final step is to subtract the number you took from the number you have right now. That is 9 minus 3 which will give you 6 and as I said your final answer would be 6 isn't it surprising now let us take another example if you imagine your number to be 5 again when I tell you to add 3 to the number you add 3 to it which will give you 8 then you multiply it by 5 which will give you 40 then you add 15 to it which will give you 55 then you again divide the number by 5, which will give you 11. And again, the final step is to subtract the number you imagined from the number you have. And again, when you subtract 5 from 11, it will give you 6, as I said. So basically, in this trick, after following the steps which I have told you, if a person chooses any number between 1 to 10, the final answer would be 6. But this is a trick only you know. So next time, tell a person to choose any number. Ask them to follow the following steps and then let them know the number they are thinking about. And you'll be happy to see their reactions. I'll attach the following steps in the end of the video so that you can have a look at them and do the trick properly. So I hope after reading the steps for the first trick, when you try it, you'll be able to surprise people with it. Now, moving on to the second one I was talking about. This is quite similar to the first trick, but here, when I'll tell you to follow the steps, the final answer you will get is 2 in every case. So suppose, let me take a number to be 2 this time. Now you need to tell the person to again pick any whole number between 1 to 10. If he or she takes 2 as a number, tell them to multiply it by 5. The answer will be 10. Then you need to tell them to add 10 to the number, which will give 20. Then you need to divide the number by 5, which will give 4. And then again the final step is to subtract the first number from the number you have right now. So subtracting 2 from 4, I'll get 2 which I already predict, predicted that the final answer will be 2. Let us take one more example so that you are confident about this trick. Now let me take the number to be 1 this time. I multiply 1 by 5, which will give me 5. I'll add 10 to the number, which will give me 15. I'll divide the number with 5 again, which will give me 3. And again, I'll subtract the number which I took from the number I have right now. That is 3 minus 1, which will give me 2. And so again, we have 2 as a final answer. So in this trick, if you follow the steps, I'll tell you the, fo the final answer will always be 2 if the person chooses any whole number between 1 to 10. I'll again attach the following steps in the end of the video so that you are able to do the trick trick nicely. I hope both the tricks are clear to you and now you can enjoy doing it with many people and say that you can read the minds of the people but in the end you know that it's nothing magical but just a 
a trick of some numbers and some mathematical calculations. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos and to have more such tricks. Thank you.